Welcome to my quick uh, video to show you how hard it is to install Team Foundation Server 2010. Uh, what you'll see here is that I'm running this on my laptop, and I am running right there, Windows 7 Enterprise Edition. Standard laptop here, I've got 4 gigs of RAM on here. Um, and something else to be take note of, it's now that 127 as we start this. If we go into the TFS install, kick this off. Starts by doing the usual setup of copying out the files for us. And it will load. You'll see I've got the click yes to send information to Microsoft because that does improve the uh, setup experience and they do actually look at that, stati that data in terms of how many failed installs there are, how many successful installs there are and so on. Cool. Um, of course I will read the license in depth and select the I have read the license and it's not on my machine, I don't want to build server, so I just want a standard TFS server, installed to C drive, where I have very little space left, it seems. And this will install now. To give you an idea of the machine, what's installed in here already, I've got SQL Server 2008 Developer Edition pre-installed, because uh, I use that for a lot of my demos and presentations, as well as I have Visual Studio 2010, or 2010, depending on how you prefer to say that, but also already installed, so it doesn't need to install the IDE, uh, the Team Explorer IDE, and so on into that, because all those components are there. So all it's focusing, this is doing, is installing the TFS 2010 components. Um, you can see already it's done configuration, uh, and right now it's just copying across the files. Okay, so that's how long it takes to install it. We're now at one minute, uh, one thirteen in the afternoon, so three minutes to actually go through the install. Um, I don't have a working TFS server yet. I've, all I've effectively done is copied the files onto my machine and registered them with the operating system, the, the important things, the services and things like that. Those are all correctly set up now. What I need to do now is actually configure TFS to use my SQL Server and connect to uh, and create me a, a team, server, uh, team Server environment. Because this is Windows 7, um, I'm going to be using the basic install. Okay, I, I want to set up my, uh, send my experiences to Microsoft once again. Next, I'm going to use my existing SQL Server. That's it there. We can hit the test button. This will connect to SQL Server and check that everything is set up correctly. Get my little green tick saying it is. Next, uh, all my details there. I can hit verify. It will now run through a set of readiness checks for me. And you'll see here I've got three of them are 100% a warning on my configuration database. And this here is because I do have I have my SQL Server database set up to start manually uh, and not automatically because I don't need it running all the time. And uh, you see IIS is going to be installed for me as well because I don't have IIS installed. So we hit configure. And now it is actually going through the process of installing IIS and configuring it onto Windows 7 for me. It is now going to configure. Uh, create the databases, it's going to create the websites, it will configure the services to look at the correct websites for TFS, uh, and it will create the initial project collections. Okay, and through the magic of really cool editing, you can see we've now reached the end of this. No warnings, no errors there. Click to see the results page. It shows me the URL to my uh, server as well as it's installed TFS web access so I can access that as well and some details that the firewall exception has been changed and the services timeout has also been changed and I can click here do a complete log really good to have this available if you have any technical problems with your deployment and I can hit close and close again and it fires the new administration console and from within here I can see there is my default collection, it's online, it's ready to go. So my TFS system is fully activated now and I can start creating projects in my collection and start checking in code locally. 
Um, and we are now at one minute, f uh, one, one forty one in the afternoon. So that's about f 13, 14 minutes to actually get TFS installed on my machine. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.